Imam Muhammad Bikir was renowned not only for his deep spiritual insight, but also for his profound understanding of natural phenomena. His contributions to knowledge span various fields, including the study of nature, astronomy, and medicine. Among his fascinating teachings, the explanation of winds and clouds stands out as an example of how Islamic scholars integrated faith with science long before the advent of modern meteorology. Imam often spoke about the natural forces as manifestations of God's will and mercy. He described winds as one of God's greatest blessings. According to narrations, Imam Muhammad Bikir explained that winds carry many benefits for the earth and its inhabitants. Winds move clouds, spread seeds, and refresh the atmosphere, making life on earth possible. He emphasized that without winds, many essential natural processes, such as pollination and the distribution of rain, would not occur. This understanding aligns closely with modern meteorology, which recognizes that wind plays a vital role in regulating climate, spreading moisture, and maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. He also provided insightful commentary on clouds, describing them as carriers of rain and essential to life on Earth. He explained that clouds are moved by winds, which gather and condense water vapor. When clouds become heavy and full of water, they release rain to nourish the land. This explanation mirrors the modern scientific understanding of the water cycle, in which clouds form from condensed water vapor and release precipitation when conditions are right. The Imam's words reflect an intricate understanding of how nature operates, linking divine wisdom with observable natural laws. The teachings of Imam reflect an Islamic approach that encourages seeking knowledge while acknowledging divine guidance in all things. His explanation of winds and clouds offers both a spiritual and practical understanding of natural processes, highlighting the belief that science and religion are not at odds, but rather complement each other. His view of nature as a system created and maintained by divine forces, yet explainable through observation and reasoning, laid the foundation for later Islamic scholars to explore natural sciences. This blend of faith and empirical understanding illustrates the deep connection between spirituality and science in early Islamic thought.